We are halfway through the season and it's been a mixed bag so far. While there have been some standout performances and key victories, there have also been some setbacks and disappointments. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pilo, I am your host. This is where fans meet and talk about K's achievements. I'm a Kosi. And in this video, we will take an honest and unbiased look back at the team's progress so far. We'll highlight both the good and the bad. We'll also preview what's to come in the second half of the season and discuss the team's goals and aspirations. Question of the day is what can we expect from KZ Chiefs in the second half of the year and which players have shown so far and who has room for improvement? Let me know down on the comment section below. Okay, so let's start with how the season started. Vele, we have to go back to the transfer window. We're so excited because there was E squad overhaul and then we got these new players. And it was kind of exciting because we saw good, okay, there might be some changes that are being brought on to the team. However, the problem is that as much as that team was there, I personally knew that Ashley Dupri wasn't going to be used as a number 9 for E Chiefs because of how he played at Stellenbosch. And we knew that even if he was going to be used as a striker, we still lacked the pick up in case he got injured. And that meant we started a season without a striker, we started a season without a defensive midfielder, and we started a season without a left back because remember, Oakland was injured, and even after he recovered, he was still not at full confidence as one has said to what he looked like he was trying to preserve himself all the time so we had those minor problems and it was kind of scary but we thought okay maybe we'll just use the reverse and make shift and see what happens so number two the thing that i was excited about to see when the season started is the fact that i'm course the fans were always there at stadiums just anticipating which this is going to be a good season and want to support the team i won't say it's because it's after covid and people want to go out now it's because the people also wanted to see the team play because we saw even after some losses that the fans were still there so shout out to you guys for always going to stadiums it's been good for our club number three is the visible change in the playing style so imangete paul saibona at full force like in the first game the very first game we saw with okay Uzwane, this is how he wants to play. He wants to press high, he wants to be aggressive, he wants to control the ball when we have the ball, and we must see a movement of the ball. Abadlali, what are they trying to do when we don't have the ball? What are they doing when we have the ball? What does each individual player do when they have the ball? And it was just great to see, which, okay, the team has changed, and we can see how they're playing. Number four, let's go through the matches and see each match Uguti what happened. So when we play against the Royal AM, it was a bad result, but we played good. And that's why I was saying Uguti, that's why we saw full force Uguti. Okay, Mangete Paul is here and we're going to play well. And we went to the second game against Marisbeck United. And I can say offensively going forward, this was the best match that we played this season so far. Because we saw Wuti, they say the best way to defend is to attack. And we're trying to make sure Wuti Marisbeck did not have the ball. We pressed them high. And even the goals that we scored, they were a result of us pressing them. Especially the first two goals. Wuti we forced them into mistakes and then we scored. And then there was a movement of the ball. That's how Ashley scored his first goal. Pressing the second goal, we scored Wuti. And you could see with okay, Chiefs is really like taking the life out of Marisbeck United and then another highlight from that game is the fact that Umtu came in and scored a goal so you see with ah yeah yeah Bonagaman, the youngsters are coming in everyone is just participating in how the team is playing and it was great to see ah yeah then guys we went to suck downs <laughs> For Neil, I will still say we played good football in that game. It was just individual errors. Like, count my mistakes out to Gangezana. Count to Kama also missed the pen. So, Guko Nuguti isn't as in that game that showed Nuguti. It chiefs were really just down to ama individual errors and not necessarily Uguti were horrible in that game. And then, Richards Bay, we showed good character. I mean, we played without Umati for a long time 
and that came down to also influence Kaplo when he came in after Omar got a red card because we saw what we needed someone who was over strong in midfield and then Plum came in and did the things and the fact that Solomons went and took that pen and scored and we ended up winning that game one name it was like showing these glimpses these good things that the team is doing and is about to do and is about to achieve with the group of players that we have Uguti. there is a character in the team and you can trust Uguti they will do something positive positive. and then against the Cape Town City as I felt like there were two things and people say said isn't anything and that's why we said at the beginning of the video we're going to try and be unbiased because some people accused Uzwane of Uguti wanted to include Ungezana in Kani because it's a system Ungezana why Ngazali and why sends some mistakes like in Sundowns and was supposed to be dropped but then he was included. My take is that he was just shaken by losing against the Sundowns and because of that he ended up including Ungezana and playing it back five to try and to compete because we knew we were playing against a good team so he was trying to be extra cautious which I don't like because I'm fully chief because we are playing against anyone. We are against the Chiefs for crying out loud. Our game plan should never change because we are playing against someone else. We should always be on the front foot planning to destroy whoever that we are playing against and the only thing that should change is how are we going to defend against them but not to good are we going to attack or are we going to change our shape so that we can def- no can never do that so i didn't like that and it seemed like uzwane why we why to say in the bayem you lose against the sundowns and he thought okay when we play against better teams maybe we should adjust the way we play which i think should never be the case with the kaiser chiefs who are big we are kaiser chiefs if you're enjoying this video so far make sure to leave a like and if you're new do subscribe share the video also Next thing is that we played against Stelis MTN8 and then we showed to good team. This is how we can play, we can press, we can push, we can make the team make our mistakes. Again, the game ended up going to our penalties but overall the game was good. We're playing with aggression, we're playing Lento Le Sasiboni Le Guimaris back in the Sasiboni Le Royal AM. We're back to our default basically. The Namazulu, as on Kama Kema Mazulu, the less the less I say about those games, the better. Flat. The good thing was that UK Lab finally came and it was his debut. Then we go and play against the Kalans, Ababeng Asabi, whatsoever. They still had Unzo Unzo. In the midfield year to Umat Nostebe, Uzuan at that point, Manget, I don't know, he was still insisting on playing both of them at the same time and it showed on that game again Guti they are not a good combo and then again another defensive error which at this point of the season was like it the near chief so Guti there is always a mistake in our defense we go we ended up drawing that game and then we play against the super sport Caleb's full debut that's a good game that we played because we saw how we can use Caleb as a reference point Uguti gets the ball and then there are runners behind him and he plays the ball to them that's how we got the pen Uguti played the ball to Mati who was running in behind and then they ended up fouling him and that's how Caleb scored his second goal but basically having a reference point Blom as a defensive midfielder and when we come back Sasa see one goal down and asking it our hand says clean and then we show the character again which is something that you know what it's there in the team it's just that in games like the game that followed Yamazulu it just disappeared and as and then next we played against the solo Z we showed a good first half we played really well and then second half for some reason we just thought you know what let's chill almost slipped away a game that we were comfortably winning and controlling so i think it's those levels of concentration that need to be fixed because in games we see it over and over again which will keep on making those mistakes that can be avoided after that we played against the stellies and then Patrick ga 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 Caleb yeah my penalty but it doesn't matter because we're fouled because we're putting them under pressure it was that movement playing the ball to Caleb and then getting players to move off of him and play off him but then again um we won that's the important thing and next was the cheaper i it gave me a cheaper buffet to young head young head we missed my chances so many chances and the fact that we scored first 
and we allowed the cheaper to come back and win that game. I could argue that this was probably our worst game of the season because wow, allowing a team back and letting them play like that as if we were the small team in that stadium, it just it was hard to see. And it that's the one of the game that made me question the mentality about Lalo Tampo and Ugut I guys. We have seen Uguti mentality corner, but why are you not harnessing that power game? Why are you not using a balande who are here to watch you Uguti? Nibe ahead, ni ni kombi sugu ni chiefs and assert your dominance. We didn't see that and I was disappointed with that. Which is the same thing against the game ye, ye test galaxy again. Same thing that happened with solos, we scored a goal, then Sarri Lexa was it was good to do a lot of free kick, but now was poor in that game. It's just those things good see at some point it felt more to me like we're not poor because our players are bad, but it's just like there's this mental block you would see. I see a relax a man just see a win or something like that and then we end up almost getting them the, having the match slip away from us which we cannot have if we're being honest Amazon once again we're flat welcome this good to sting it death because we can was played a injured which is not good like who he was being I don't know maybe I'm niggas I'm a pain killer but he was nowhere near being fit for that game Last game of the season was before the break was it Derby and one word and one name only that I can say is Unja Bloom. I know people will remember the spectacular goal by Umat, but the control got Bloom in that game is what won us that game overall because he pocketed everyone with Pirates after their big win against the Sundown. So I think that game just highlighted how important Uplom was in the team. So if we're just saying what are the two things that have been important that I've seen in the season so far is the fact that we can see Gutu Mangete where he's going with the team, what he wants to do with the team, the confidence, the team spirit, all that stuff. We can see Gutu Guzo, he sees a team going forward. What did affect him though is the fact that Ama signings that were made late, okay, Lep, not Dove, could have helped us much more if either they were, they were bought or signed earlier on in the season because Ngabe we are further along manji with the team than where we are right now. And looking ahead, obviously, we are going to need another striker. We can't have a crisis, Yoguti. Caleb gets injured and we don't know what to do. We need to sign a winger or two. Two wingers because we need it depth again because Masbon Uguti Usahotu Katele, someone must come in. Masbon Uguti Utu Pri is not doing the things. Someone must come in and help the team because right now Ngempela it depth is a slimaza. And one thing that goes without saying is that we're going to need a replacement gaplom. And I made a video here that you can go check out where I talk about a replacement gaplom. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoya.